All right, guys, we've been getting a lot of questions about bikes lately, so we figured we'd do some videos for uh, for you guys, and we've been getting a lot of questions about the KLX 140, so might as well start with it. Stock, these things come with a pipe that's 80-some decibels, so they're super quiet, which is nice if you're riding in the backyard, but it makes it so they're super corked up, and uh, they're pretty blubbery, so uh, one of the first things we do is put a pipe on. I've had this one since 08, so it's got this old BBR pipe on it, but Yosh is still doing pipes for these, and they keep updating them, which is really nice, so uh, those guys are on it. BBR gets a lot of calls from girls who ride these bikes, and they seem to love them. What do you think about these, Claire? Well, I have to say, I think the thing I like most about these is that they have electric start. It makes it super easy to start them. They're super light, so you can throw them around, get them over stumps, whatever you gotta do. And I really like that they have a lot of bottom end. I mean, I've ridden the TTR, I've ridden the 110, the XR100, and these are really fun because you can moto them if you wanna go fast. But if you're just crawling through the woods, the 170 kit really helps um, with the uh, bottom end torque. Stock, these things come with a pretty good motor. BBR does make a 170 kit and a cam and that gives it some more bottom end, which makes it good for the trails, lugging around, and you can moto it a little more. And uh, it pretty much just opens it up and makes it a little more rideable. This thing's got a frame cradle, which is really nice because other mid-sized bikes like this, like the TTR125, XR100, they don't have that. And uh, the cradle is where they have the spar connecting the frame all the way down the bottom, just like a, uh, a big bike. So that makes it really nice. It doesn't bend and uh, it rides a lot nicer too, and you don't have to worry about uh, pretty much launching it. The other thing that's nice about these bikes is that they come in three different sizes. So the small is the 1417, this is the L model, this is the uh, 1619, then there's also a G for Giant, which is a 18 and 21. So it's kind of nice to give a couple different options there. Stock, these things come with pretty decent suspension. It's a little bit soft. BBR makes stiffer springs for it. On this, we put KX100 suspension on it. It basically bolts on on the front end. Um, the shock, you gotta do some messing around, but a bunch of guys online have a step by step on how to do that. Um, the only reason we did that was because we're launching this thing. We were worried about breaking it in half. My buddy Cole did it once. Um, so. In two. Yeah, in two. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that, but I've got some clips of him riding it. These things come stock with really good swing arms and brakes. They're disc, which is really nice. The trannies are super tough. The motor in general is super tough. I've never broken the tranny. And uh, these things are basically bulletproof. We've had this thing since 08 and just flogged it every day. So it's pretty incredible what these things will go through. We get a lot of questions about this one-off KLX 140 that BBR did. They spent a year on this thing. It's all pretty much handmade prototype. like. There's not two of anything on this bike. They one-offed everything, and it's pretty insane. They did an aluminum frame, aluminum gas tank, triple clamps. Every piece of this thing has hundreds of hours into it. It's pretty crazy what they did, but um, we ride this thing occasionally, but it's uh, for everyday use, we're riding the regular 140 just because, you know, they take a beating and there's parts for them, whereas these, they're all one off, it's super expensive, and uh, we're always afraid of breaking it, but man, they're fun. Ooh, she's tough. It's like Eeyore. Eeyore.